Midday Guardians, this is Sealant Loop. I'm here with you, fighting the darkness. Now, I finally get to answer the question I asked in my last video, which is, what are Ascendant Raisins for? Now that Festival of Lost is here, we get actually a fun little quest line to do. And it doesn't won't pop up in your log, but if you're running around starting off the festivities, and just getting the different candies all around the tower, you may see this sweet section here with Zavala. Now you can actually trade your Ascendant Raisins to him for this salted sweet. Put it to work. Never... And this is where it kicks off. Now, if you're asking where to get Ascendant Raisins, the first way is to just have them from last year, which I did. I held on to it as kind of a joke and actually did something. Now, if you go to Eris, instead of candies, just like last year, she'll give you raisins. And if you were a kid, you'd hate that. But we are guardians, and so we love it. If you take those raisins to the speaker with some motes of light, he'll actually infuse the light into the raisins, and will become Ascendant Raisins. Now, the next step in this quest here, at the Cryptarch, I've neglected my work for too long. Get your candies. Good. And he'll have these winged chew. Now, if you read the flavor text, so fizzy, you think you were flying, it'll give you a clue on where to go next. And as I was doing a minute ago, we're going to head over to the hangar and actually speak with Amanda Holiday. Speaking of wings and flying, that's our clue. That's very familiar if you played old adventure games like Monkey Island or Quest for Glory where you to get out of like a jail cell you'd have to trade things or do little smaller tasks so it's kind of a really fun nod to those old days now here in the holiday you can trade your winged shoes for these spice drops these oily confections work a treat on the jaw hinge now uh, when I solve this one on my main character, I did try and true method of let's just talk to everybody and see which one works. Uh, and if you look at the flavor text, speaking about working the jaw hinge, we're actually going to head over to Cave 6. So if you've missed out on last year's raisins or you just got rid of them because you thought it was a dumb joke for that year, you can actually just get those again. So here we're at K6. And we're going to pick up our little candies here. And we're going to trade him the spice drops for the unchocolate. The bitterest and blackest of chocolate without the slightest hint of sweetness. It's yours. All right. So. We're actually going to run back to where this whole thing started, back here to Eris Morn. Because if there's one candy she would actually eat, it's going to be this one. So here we are. She actually now has a bag of treats for us. So we're going to trade, which goes into our inventory. Now we can just open that up. So as you see, the ascendant raisins are gone. And here next to our new raisins, we have the bag of treats. Now she is going to give us a piece of celery that is slightly wilted, but the one that we're excited for, and the reason we did all this, is right here, the super black shader. So we're going to throw that on, and it gives us a nice clean look. It actually adds uh, texture to some items. Now the other fun little thing we can do here in the Festival of the Lost uh, that's quick. You don't have to go out and do anything else other than just run around the tower. Is we're actually going to run back towards the hangar. Now this is also kind of an old school gaming thing where you just try to find new little things that you didn't notice before. And so here in the club next to where you'll find Zora at times up on the top of these crates here, there's a broom. Now if you see it, the color is a little higher than the area around it. 
And so just like in, say, Zelda games or anything like that, it's like, huh, that kind of stands out. So we're actually going to pick that up. And here we are. This is a lost broom. Now, we're not just going to clean with it. You can actually equip it. And it is a brand new sparrow. So there it is. Now, what's great about these two little things is that you don't have to pay anything. Uh, a lot of the items in this year's Best of the Lost is behind a paywall. It's, you know, a little less enjoyable. So here's a couple of things that you can just do and have fun with without breaking the bank. So I want you to get Day Guardians. And if you want to find out where I got this emblem from, check out my other video. Once again, I'm Silent Luke.